welcome to my channel this is tasty J, and today i am eating canes so i know that i typically say on my channel i don't like to do repeats uh food but i was craving cane so i was just like forget it i'm just gonna get some and do a video on it um so yeah this is my second canes video and if you don't know what canes look like or you haven't had it before um it's you can watch other videos a lot of youtubers have done them um or mukbangers it's all over social media all the time i feel like and also i have a video myself um on, that i already did on it but basically i got the caniac combo i think it comes with six some fries and then their toast and i um subbed it for two because that's what i prefer i think in my last video i had got it for delivery and they did not sub it um this time though i got the sauce in the cup y'all i don't i want to spill it but you see it they fill it to the brim so i got it on the side can i put it should i put it right there okay we'll leave it right there and for my thumbnail i already dipped a couple pieces in so i'm just gonna dig in because i'm so hungry That's good. Yeah, that was too much soft stuff for one dip. I didn't even try to. It's just hard because... It, you know what the little containers that they normally get you is just easier because it's a little container, but... With that big stuff, it's easy to over dip. I'm gonna put this down here because I have my tray balancing and if I feel it wobbling with that on there. Maybe I'll put it to the side. Maybe you guys can kind of see it a little bit still there. But yeah. So how are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Like I said, I was craving it so badly, so I was like, I gotta get it. Mm. Mm. Some people I know don't like things because really their main thing is just chicken tenders. So if you're not a big chicken tender person, it's just like, hmm. I mean, you don't even have to be a, a big chicken tender person, honestly, because it's all about the sauce. Hmm. I have a sweet tea on the side. That's good. Their toast is so good to me too. Honestly, one thing I will say is that 
the good thing about canes is that I feel like it's hard to go wrong with chicken tenders. You know, so many people go to fast food restaurants or not fast food, just restaurants in general. We'll go to a restaurant and if it's something they don't like, they'll get chicken tenders, you know. Um, because it's like a safe option. It's a safe option on the menu. So if you go to a new restaurant and you see a bunch of stuff and you're like, I don't know about this. The chicken tenders are always a safe option. Or they're a safe option for people who have like, who are picky eaters. And go to a restaurant or kids. So I think for Kane's to have be a whole like restaurant with just chicken tenders, it's kind of just a safe <laughs> restaurant, I guess. Like when you go there, you know what you're getting, you know. So yeah, I don't know I'm doing okay. Honestly, I'm just ready for the weekend. I'm putting this on a Thursday. I don't know when it's gonna go up. But, so my sister's graduation is coming up. And depending on when I post this, it'll already have happened. Um, by the time the video is posted. Because it's literally less than a week away now. And, y'all, I don't know what to wear. I ordered, I ordered this dress. I paid over a hundred dollars for it. And, I had it. I got it delivered pretty quickly. Well, I paid like a hundred dollars or some change probably after tax. Um, I came pretty quickly, which was nice, but I waited kind of late, so I don't even know if I can return it. But I finally tried it on a few days ago, and I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. And um, I honestly feel like I look like Pennywise. Excuse me, from the It movies. It's like a very, it's all ruffles and stuff like that. And it looks cuter online and on the model. So honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, with that, you can always just like donate it or sell it or something, you know, but. In terms of finding an outfit in time for graduation, I don't know. I mean, if it's come to shop, I'll have to find something in my closet. But I could go to like the mall. But honestly, y'all, in my experience, like like ninety five percent of the time that I've gone to the mall to look for an outfit. I can't find one. Like if I go to the mall just to hang out with friends or just for my leisurely, I always find stuff that I like and spend more money than I plan. But then it's like, when I go to the mall to actually find an outfit because I need one for like an event or something like this. I can never find anything. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. For Christmas, this past Christmas, 
I got, um, one of the things I got was, I don't know if you guys have heard of the website, Princess Polly. But, I got a gift card for them. So, what I'm thinking of doing is ordering off of there. Using a gift card. And then paying for like expedited shipping so to get here in time. If that makes sense. Because my main thing is I need to get here and in about six days or less technically. So like overnight shipping basically. The only problem is I went on there and I cannot find anything to wear. Like I found one dress that I like. I found one dress that I like. And of course it sold out in my size. And I was like, maybe I could go size up or size down. It sold out in those two. So I don't know. I'm going to keep checking the website and looking for stuff. So I need something, you know. And the good thing is using the gift card so it wouldn't come out of my own pocket. So that's why I'm like, because I did not want to pay for it. Expedited express shipping. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but it can get so expensive, which makes sense because you're trying to you're trying to rush it, you know. But you know, it could get up to 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. So this way it's like if I do it, I can I can do it without having to worry about having to pay out of pocket, you know. Or if I do have to pay out of pocket, the gift card covers at least some of it, you know. I literally am just struggling to even find an outfit. Yeah, I don't know. Excuse me. Do you guys dress up for the graduation? This is her college graduation. Yeah. Like, my family was always one of those ones that was like, for something like this, it, it's a big deal. You know, like, for graduation or something like that, like, whether you're graduating or someone else's, like, they're putting in the time, the effort, the years into it, you know? And I have someone who was a student, myself, you know, there's a lot of sacrifice that can go into medicine it too, you know? So, there's a lot that's put into it. So, and you don't have a million graduations, you know? Excuse me. You know, you don't have a lot. <clears throat> you only have what? Depending on your school, you might have a kindergarten. Depending on your school, you might have like an eighth grade one, a high school one, college. And if you decide to get your like masters and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's supposed to be like a celebration too, right? So my family is always one that was like, we don't like dress in like ball gowns or anything, but we like to look nice, you know. Put together, not necessarily wearing casual clothes. I know some people go, and I've seen it too, where they they'll just wear like a basic gold outfit that they don't wear any other time. Yeah. But, so that's why I'm like, I need to find an outfit, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
so excuse me that's my plan once I finish filming this it's putting my time and energy into finding an outfit specifically on Princess Polly so I can use my gift card and because my gift card is I think it's like a hundred dollars or maybe more but it's enough to cover you know an outfit and that or at least part of the shipment and not pay the rest you know because who got time to spend forty dollars on shipment I don't but I need to you know excuse me so yeah and then on top of that I said this in one of my other videos but a couple weeks ago we were having like 80 degree weather if you're new to my channel I live in Minnesota we have snow day near year round but we were having we had like a heat spurt I guess like a heat wave so a few weeks ago we had like 80 almost I think it did reach the 90s actually a couple of days at the beginning of April <coughs> well lately we've been back cold it hasn't been snowing I think it snowed a little bit one day but it didn't stick since then but it's been raining it's been sunny some days and then rainy some days but even then it hasn't even touched 70 I don't think since it was 80 90 degrees so I think during her graduation it's supposed to be like 50 60 so it's like even then it's not you know that's nice for Minnesota but even then it's not like a degree weather you know so I'm still I'm looking but I'm looking for outfits that aren't like showing a bunch of skin anyway or that aren't short sleeves because I'm like I know that it's not supposed to be like steaming hot a few years ago my brother and my cousin they're the same age they didn't go to the same high school but they're the same age and they went and they both graduated and both they graduated because it was like COVID I mean COVID's still around but excuse me but you know with all the safety measures and stuff like that both their graduations were outside so my brother's graduation was June the first week of June my cousins were the second week of June I wear some pants and like a nice top and the top had long sleeves and I was actually fine like it was later on in the day like like I think like 8 p.m. is almost like how late we were there which I know isn't like late but I feel like it started not that long before so it probably started at like 7 p.m. or something like that and so by then it was already like I don't say it was getting dark but it was like the sun wasn't high in the sky or anything like that it had been a chillier day um it had been a sunny day but it had been chillier so I was not like hot at all even though I had on long sleeves and pants but then the following week like I said it was my cousin's graduation and I still talk my whole family still talks about it to this day because it was so hot and that day I wore a romper so you know like legs and everything out and I still was hot I Literally, I told um, one of my coworkers this when we were talking about graduations. I have never felt so like uncomfortable in my own body as I did in that moment because it was that hot. Like the hottest I've ever been. And in Minnesota, we get very, very humid summers. And so this is like the beginning of summer and I think it was like over 90 degrees and it's humid. Excuse me. And the sun was like sitting directly like facing us above us it was so 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 hot and it's just funny because it was literally like a week apart you know but for my sister's graduation hers is gonna be inside it's gonna be in a big stadium and like a, re a really big stadium actually which is which we're all still surprised of but she's getting like a bunch of garage tickets for gas or whatever so we got some family coming from out of town for it 
Um, but yeah, it was, it's going to be inside. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I'm trying to just find like the perfect outfit because it's going to be like in the 50s, 60s, which is it hot, but it's not freezing either. But it's also going to be inside. So am I going to be cold inside? Like are they going to have the AC blast? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's just everything you have to take into consideration, right? So yeah, so like I said, when I'm done um, filming this, that's my plan is to go try to find this outfit because I need to order it like today to make sure it's here in home. And I just want something too that's like appropriate, you know, like... I feel like so much of my clothes now, you know, if you grow out of your clothes or whatever, your weight changes so you can't fit everything the same anymore. And so I feel like so much of my clothes now that I have are either like stuff I would wear to work, which I definitely don't want to wear to a graduation, or like stuff if I'm like going out to spend time with friends like for drinks or something like that and it's like I don't want to wear that to a graduation either so um, I don't know I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now but I have faith that I'll find something I'm not getting off that website today <laughs> until I find something but yeah so I don't know when I'm going to post this because I have family that's going to be coming in and they're going to be here the days I normally um, film. So I'm kind of like trying to get ahead of it. And so I'm filming this sooner um, than I normally would. Because I know on those days I'm just going to be busy with my family that's coming to visit. You know, for the graduation. So yeah, guys... I'm kind of full. I ate like what I said it was like six. Um, I ate almost all my fries. I ate one whole toast, and the toast is so good. I mean, I I you know you can it comes with coleslaw. You can stick with the coleslaw. I choose not to. Their toast is good. Is it the healthier option? Probably not. You know how healthy is coleslaw? I mean, it's technically got like vegetables in it, right? So I'm sure it has to be healthier than buttered toast. However, you know, it's covered in like sauce and all that. So I can't imagine it would be that much healthier. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, um, you know, with coleslaw, I feel like it's, a lover a lot of people have a love or hate relationship with it either they love it or they hate it um and me i have to be in the mood for it like i'm not against it because i will eat it but i have to be in the mood for it i think one thing with coleslaw like you start to see i feel like i started to see it people include it more on other things instead of just eating it by itself but like doing it with um uh, like sandwiches or things like that, you know, um, or tacos, um, like shrimp tacos or things like that. And I think it, like a lot of times it works really well. A lot of times it works really, really well when you, you know, do it like that. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if you guys can hear, I just said this at the beginning, but I'm sorry if you guys can hear the TV in the other room. <laughs> Cause now I, I'm sitting here talking and it's like it's kind of loud. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going off on a whole other tangent. But yeah, that's coleslaw. So I, you know, subbed it, and I think that's just the best option. But if you like coleslaw, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this whole thing. It's so much left. Like literally, I only ate to like right here. And look at all that that's left. I mean, you know what the good thing is? I could just dip any old chicken tenders or chicken nuggets or anything like that in there. Or other stuff, to be honest. So, I don't know how long this lasts, but I'm going to put it in my fridge. Um, 
but yeah this is it's funny because this is my first time seeing this much sauce like that in person you know you see people get this all over social media all over youtube all over everything and it's like oh wow that's a lot of sauce but seeing it in person is kind of surreal <laughs> okay okay but yeah so i still have about two and a half and I have this little bite of toast, which I'm probably not gonna save. And then this whole one, and then a few fries here and there, and then a lot of sauce. So that is it, y'all. I'm gonna wrap it up and try to go find my outfit. I don't know. I was thinking because I have my other channel, my original channel that I've posted like a few other videos on. I was thinking about doing like vlogging, um, because I did buy a vlogging camera a couple months ago um but i'm just like i don't know you know I, I feel like there's a lot of people who vlog so i'm like is it oversaturated do people even care about what i have to show or say or anything like that you know it's like i don't know but it could be fun for just the memories too you know so i don't know so with that being said i was thinking like should i vlog the experience of going to my sister's graduation maybe i will i don't know We'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't eat all this. Um, but I'm going to put it to you. If I don't, my family will. I mean, my family is a big fan of this. I think we all like this stuff. So, um, but yeah, that's all I have. Again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. And yeah, thank you. Bye.